Hi there, in this video we're going to be finding the variance of our least squared estimator beta hat in, oh, under the assumption that we have no serial correlation of errors and that we have homoscedastic errors. So just reminding ourselves of what the explicit expression for beta hat least squares is in matrix form, then it's just equal to x primed x to the power minus 1 times x primed y, where y is our dependent variable. So in order to find the variance of this particular expression, we need to make use of a few general results. One of them is that the variance of a product of a non-stochastic matrix A times a stochastic matrix Y is in fact equal to A times the variance of Y times A transposed. And that sort of holds for all particular matrices which we're thinking about when I've got a non-stochastic matrix A and a stochastic matrix Y. Okay, so if we use this particular relationship, then we can write out what the variance of beta hat least squares is. The variance of beta hat least squares, well, you can sort of think about this whole first term here as being the matrix A. So when I find the variance of beta hat least squares, I just get A, which is just x primed x to the power minus 1, times uh, x primed times the variance of y, and now I need to find A primed or A transposed. In order to do that, we need to make use of a few different results. One of them is that A, B, some two matrices multiplied together, the transpose of that product is in fact B transposed times A transposed. So when I take the transpose of the product, the order actually inverts. So when I sort of think about thinking, taking the transpose of this entire expression up here, then the x primed is actually going to come out to the front, but when I take the transpose of x transpose, I just get back the original matrix x. So the first part of this expression here is in fact x. And then I need to think about what happens when I apply the transpose operator to this stuff here. Well, it turns out that any sort of matrix A, let's say inverted, the transpose of any matrix A inverted is in fact the same thing as A transpose inverted. So the order in which I apply the transpose operator and the inverse operator to a matrix doesn't matter. So knowing that we can just sort of forget about this minus one up here for the time being and we can just think about what happens when I apply the transpose operator to this product of x primed x in the brackets. Well if I have x primed x and I'm taking the transpose of that then what happens well the order of multiplication inverts so I just get this the first term here, x, as going out the front, but I don't get the first term x, I have to take the transpose of that, and then I have the second term, which is the transpose of x transpose, which is just x. So in fact, we just get what we had originally, which is just x primed x, all to the power minus one, because it doesn't matter whether I take the inverse of a transpose or vice versa. Okay, so now we haven't used any assumptions yet in, in getting to this particular step. Now, becomes, now comes the stage where we use a particular assumption whereby we assume that the variance of our dependent variable y is in fact equal to sigma squared times i. And notice that this, in, in writing it in this form, we've actually assumed that we've got homoscedastic errors because we are assuming that each of our um, errors of our particular y's is just a constant, it's just equal to sigma squared. And we've assumed that we've got no serial correlation because the identity matrix is this sort of, if we're writing it out in explicit form, it's just a whole sort of series of ones and zeros for the non-diagonal positions. So because we've got zeros for these non-diagonal positions, that means that we've got no serial correlation of errors. Okay, so if I just substitute this expression here for the variance y into our above expression, we have that the variance of beta hat least squares is in fact equal to x primed x to the power minus 1 times x primed times our sigma squared times the identity matrix i times x times x primed x to the power minus 1. And note that the identity matrix times any matrix x is in fact just that matrix x, so I can sort of forget about this identity matrix here. And I can also move the sigma squared out in front here because it's just a constant, right? Okay, in doing that, it actually enables us to simplify this expression further because, in fact, we have got the product of a matrix A inverted times the matrix itself. So I've got x primed x um, 
inverted times x prime x, so they both cancel with one another, and we're just left with the variance of our beta hat least squares is just sigma squared times x prime x to the power minus one. And that is the expression for the variance of the least squared estimator under the assumption that we have no serial correlation of errors and that we have homoscedastic errors. In the next video, we are going to start to prove the Gauss-Markov theorem in matrix form. I'll see you then.